perfect. Oh, amazing. That's so amazing. Hey, what's going on? Happy 4th of July to you. Multicasking here. I'm Charlie. I'm Jean. And happy 4th of July to you. I hope we're barbecuing. I hope you're grilling. I hope you're swimming. I hope you're shooting off some, some fun, yet safe fireworks. Must be safe. We're going to do an uncorking today for you. A Metallica's Blackened. Excellent. Uh, so Metallica has their own whiskey, right? Mm -hmm. A lot of people, a lot of celebrities will say, hey, uh, put my name on that. Or people will say, hey, we'll give you this much money. Can we put your name on this? But Black and went a step further. Uh, first of all, the particulars, this is a 45% ABV. This is a blend of straight whiskeys. Straight ryes and bourbons. Straight whiskeys, some ryes, some bourbons. Mm -hmm. Uh, four to five years old. Um, don't know the mash bill because it's a blend and they don't tell you. Hey don't, guys. don't know the necessary age. We know they're straight, so they have to be two years old, but they tell you, hey, four to five years old. Uh, this is uh, batch 116. Batch 117 is getting ready to come out or just came out, depending on, well, this is going to air on the 4th of July. So batch 117 should probably already be out. Um, Black in the wor world. Okay. Black in the world. It says it on here. So what's the ABV? Forty-five percent, ninety proof. Forty-five. Uh, David P. Uh, bless him. David P. Bless him. Um, Ladies first. Used to, you know, he's a master distiller of Maker's Mark. Um, he worked for Whistlepill. Did the Vanguard Rye. Uh, he came up with this idea. Uh, with Metallica. Metallica, really a big fan of his and, and he of them. And they said, uh, hey, what? They, they didn't want to do. It kind of sounds like a novelty, but what they did. And for this, I, can, I guess I can actually tell you you have the, the songs written down somewhere. <laughs> the, uh, the playlist that was blasted this, finished for two to ten weeks, was number one, Loverman. Number two, Welcome Home Sanitarium, Harvester of Sorrow, Moth into Flame, Two by Four, Number six, through the never seven die die, my darling. Aww. Number eight, metal militia. So this is aged. Then it is finished by serenading it. Yes, yeah, serenading the barrel um, as it finishes. Each one's different for two to ten weeks, and as the base gets there, as it vibrates, opens up the wood, creates new contact with the wood. I'm going to say there's more rye in here than bourbon. Ooh. Yeah, I'm getting that... Um, Cheers, Metallica. I'm getting that um, lemongrass, that sage, that earth. Yeah, this to me reminds me of the Axe in the Oak rye. It's, mm. it's a muted rye nose. And maybe had you not said rye, maybe I wouldn't have gotten that. But it is a muted nose. But I do get the rye. Well, I get I get more rye notes than I get like the bourbon. I don't get like a lot of caramel and um, the brown sugars. I'm getting more of the earthy tones. I get close cigarette. I get um, and I love these things. I don't get them too often. Uh, sunflower seed cookies. Mmm. It's a thing and they're delicious. You keep telling me that it's I've a had thing one. and they're delicious. I've had sunflower seeds. I do like those. Sunflower seed cookies are not to be slept on, folks. <laughs> they're not they're awesome I, get, I just get a little bit of lemon drop um and lemongrass and like i just pulled weeds cotton candy muted cotton er, i'll say muted or an earthy cotton candy that's not really a, a thing you know from now on when we do these um uncorkings i uh -huh. think i'll let you pour yours first <clears throat> oh yeah of course on and the reason why, if you haven't watched a lot of our uncorkings, she ladies first, right? <laughs> Mine is more open than hers is. Yeah. Several times. I'm not hating it. So. I'll just let it open a little more here. And not for nothing, for, for the 4th of July, you're sitting around, you're, you're, you're probably smelling the gunpowder and the smoke. If we, if there, we should, maybe we should have gone for it with a smoky thing. But you know, what's more American than metallic? You don't get more American than heavy metal. Easy for me to say. I was going to say, I thought where you're going is you don't get more America than Melon Camp, but Metallica, yeah, you'll get Melon Camp. He's my favorite. Should have worn the Melon Camp shirt, but you got to say it's 4th of July. It's 4th of July. 
Seems like it was just a year ago, last 4th of July. It almost seems like that. But we get done with this, we're immediately going to barbecue, we're immediately going swimming, gonna right. have some fun, maybe be sunburned come next, next video. Yeah. Yeah, maybe not. But it is a, the, the the nose comes Are we off. Supposed to bring something by the way. Um they didn't ask us, so I'm gonna say alcohol. Okay. And either alcohol or children. If we bring children to alcohol. Oh, we'll just bring the children. Designated drivers, you know why? Teenagers, folks! Don't <laughs> sleep on your kids being teenagers. The nose does come off like a 45. Now that's opening, I'm getting some more oak. I'm gonna have a go in. Have I'll... a go in. I'm not getting anything new on this. It's, I'm, I would like for it to, you know, I take it away, I swirl it around, I come back. Oh, now I'm getting something else, but I'm getting just a lot of earth and lemon. This side sage. of the, this side of the go in, I actually do have high expectations that the palate's gonna be flavorful. Let's we'll find see out. Let's see what happens. Oak, caramel, barn floor earth. Mm. Smooth. It tastes it's like creamy. the nose. Yeah. Yeah, creamy, it's smooth. Very creamy and smooth. Mm -hmm. Light pepper. Dissipates. No. Well, the finish my, is still there, but the peppers dissipate. I think they're worried about the finish and its totality rather than your pepper girl peppers. That feels nice. <laughs> I was gonna make a mom joke, but we're filming a review. Not gonna make a mom joke. <laughs> Love you, mother in law. She's probably watching because it's Murka's birthday. Oh, Murka. It, it is creamy. It's, it, it drinks under the 45. It drinks like a 40. It's not stingy at all. No. And I get that there is a unique note about the oak. I'm guessing that's from the finish. Maybe, maybe not. If, I would say that's like the, uh, there's like a creamy caramel in with that, which is what's caramel butter that is making that creaminess part. Um, there's a hint of smoke, but not a lot. Just like, just, maybe just because you said smoke is why I'm thinking smoke, but there's on the finish, I'm getting on the back of my tongue, little teeny tiny bit of smoke. Your smoke is the rye shining through. It's, maybe. It's the rye. And the rye, to me, it's a smooth rye, it's not kitchen spice, it's enough to know that it's rye. And it's, I think it's blended, I think it's blended so well mm -hmm. that the two are kind of equal, the bourbon and the rye, they're both, they're both there on the palate. Yeah. Interesting. Mm -hmm. um, it's not gonna, it's not gonna wow you, uh, but it's not gonna disappoint. Would it be how I would describe this? Mm. Right. Yeah, no, I get it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. This to me is something you can take to any fourth. Maybe we should have done this before the fourth, but to me, you can take this on the fourth. Hey, try Metallica's whiskey. We can still take the bottle. We just not like we. You know. Yeah, that's true. But yeah, but I'm talking to them. I'm not them, you them them. But yeah, I'm saying you can you can easily pick this up, take it to your your Fourth of July gathering. Hey, have some Metallica, crank it up. That would be fun. Mm -hmm. You get a couple in. You're having fun listening to some. Listen to some, some tunes. Get it out, I man. Can talk. Get it out. Well, now I'm starting to salivate with the finish. Oh, um, it does have a nice long finish, and it's very smooth. You know what? When somebody next time somebody comes over and they're like, "We don't drink a lot of whiskey straight. Oh yeah. You know, we like to mix it. Yeah. This would be something good to give somebody like that because it mm -hmm. is so creamy. Yeah. I can't get across how creamy the the. Yeah. I, I wasn't expecting that at all. No, I was expecting a uh, dry. Well. I, Prior to opening it up, I was expecting it to be dry. I was expecting oak. None of that there. Uh, then after the nose, I thought it'd be more powerful, but it, it tastes like it noses. Again, it's an uncorking. It tastes like it noses, but it is creamy and it is smooth. I, I'm gonna disagree with you there uh, on a little bit because yes, you do have the notes that you were that you had on your nose, but- Oh, shoot. I'm also getting the caramels and the butters, which I did not get on my on the nose. I'm getting the, some of the bourbons on the palate. It's opening bourbons. up. As soon as you started your lecture, right, it started tasting better. Lecture. Um, well, yeah, better, but different. Yeah, this is lecture. New notes, but I, I was sitting there in, immersed in the in the palate. I forgot to add water. It brought out some more rye um, on the nose for me, <coughs> or, or maybe it just opened it up because mine was muted. Yeah. yeah. To me, it doesn't bring out, the, it brings out, well, it brings out uh, blue, 
What's the blue Gatorade called? With the blue Gatorade, notes of that. Raspberry, maybe? Could be. I don't yeah. know whatever the blue Gatorade is called. Um, that. Yeah, I'll give you that. Yeah, I'll get some of that. And a touch of sour. I don't, I don't think this is sour mashed. A touch of sour mash. If you've had black, let us know down in the comments if you remember what batch you've had. Or if you've what had makes a sour mash a sour mash? Uh, you, well, you distill it most of the way, but there's still a little bit left, and you put the new batch in. You just kind of mix it a little bit with the old oh, and mix I it see. a sour mash. Hmm. It's a little bit distinctive in most, most things. But a lot of things are sour mashed. You think on the palate? Mmm. You just made it. Even more creamy on the nose. I was getting some like like that fun dip when you were talking about the blue Gatorade, uh -huh. like the blue powder of the fun dip. Mm -hmm. um, but on the palate, the only thing it did maybe was took some of the peppers away that I did have a little bit of, and just made that so creamy and velvety in my uh, just everywhere. What we've learned here today, folks, mm -hmm. is when you when you open up a whiskey for the first time. Give your buddy the first glass because you get the second, you get it much more. Heck, like, no, it didn't mute the peppers. Put the, add the water, it's, peppers are stinging my tongue. I don't know, man. I don't know. To me, this is a completely different dram with a drop of water in it. To me, it brought out too much peppers or more pepper than I thought it would do. Again, I'm salivating from okay, it. Okay, second, second sip, I got some peppers, anyway. but not as good as I did before I added the water. To me, it, it complete the water complete changes. Now it's more coarse. It's more ABV stingy. I, don't, I like it. I can't decide now if I like it better neat or like it better with water because they're so Pretty completely distinct, different. They? they are, um, which normally they're not. Yeah. I think I like the sugars and the sweetness of it neat more than the peppers. I think I like the And the meat oak better. of the water. Good, I guess. I don't know what my score is going to be. Oh, I know what my score is going to be. And I'm going to guess. Guess right now what you think our scores are going to be. And let's see if you're right in about a half of a second. I'm going to guess, Gene, that you are an 88. What did you do? I did a 90. Did you? I did. 88. Huh. I did a 90 because it is so unexpected. Okay. Um, what I thought I was going to taste would be, oh, it's just a regular old whiskey. Nothing's going to be special about it. But the creamy part of it, that creamy, velvety, it's just, I like it. Try to think what we had that's this creamy that we could compare it to that let folks know. Uh, Nothing is coming to my mind about how creamy this completely is. Completely different. Completely different whiskeys. But Red Breast 12 is creamy and smooth. This has similar notes of the creaminess of Red Burst 12. Completely different whiskeys, completely different textures, tastes. Anyway. Sometimes I just like the softness. Only time you'll ever hear a girl say that. About Metallica, probably. About Metallica. <laughs> She's completely talking about Metallica. Yeah. There's nothing but a six pack right here. Yeah. <laughs> six pack it now up. Now I'm getting where you're going. Took me a minute. That's what she said. Anything to add, Gene? I don't think so. I'm Charlie. I'm Gene. And I hope you are just as thirsty as we are. Happy 4th of July, folks. Happy 4th. Don't, 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 don't. You know who would really enjoy this? Both Beavis and Butthead. Hmm. Because they're legally adults now. Are they now? Dun, 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 dun.